Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. It's pretty late right now, but I made a few changes and I would uh, I just want to tell you guys what that is. And I'm trying to fix one more thing in uh, uh, in the map maker in order for us to for this whole thing to work. I added some stuff to map as well or the map. I I just went into the map editor and and fixed it up a little bit but what I tried to add was a player collision function so basically what I did is I created this player collision update and it checks if the player is alive then it calculates the, uh, the place like from the column to the column you know the usual stuff we've been doing uh, it calculates that from the players position minus the grid size uh, multiplied by 2 so to the left of the player and then obviously it's a grid position so we divide it by grid size uh, and then I check from the center to the right from the center uh, up from the center down so that's basically what I do this is just the code right here plus one obviously as well uh, so this is what I do everything else is the same I print them out I don't want to do that anymore and then I go I have a J and a K here, remember that, don't mess that up. I have an I here that comes from this parameter. Uh, obviously in game I made the prototype as well. I put it under player bullet update right here. So do that. Uh, and then ba what I do basically is, is I check the collision. So I check if it is a null pointer obviously first, if there is something there at all and if there is and it is a collider so if that bool in the tile is set to true remember we have a bool in the collider that is uh, is collider basically so we can collide with it if that's true and the players get bounds intersects that tiles get bounds then what we'll do is just something temporary we'll move the player uh, minus its normal movement direction so negative of that whatever it is we want to do it the other way and then the same thing here so that's basically what I want to do then I want to um, yeah then I just call this in player update right here collision update just like that just like nothing ever happened and we're good we're good to go so let's go into game map maker I, I realized there was a little problem in my map making is that I never set it to true that little bool so I'm thinking I'm gonna do something uh, I'm gonna set a boolean text map okay so I got a bunch of stuff game map maker we gotta do variables for tiles. So bool uh, tile collider. Alright. Let's go into the map maker. Save that. Go into the map maker. And let's just make sure all these are down because it's annoying me. There we go. Map maker. So, where is it? Set background enemy spawner. There we go. Variables. Variables for tiles. This tile collider equals true. So it'll be set true by default. And then, or false by default, sorry. Uh, so we can do that as we create a tile so add remove tile add remove tiles we're gonna send that into the one that is collider here which one is that that is uh, the second one right here there we go this collider is damaging so this tile collider let me just do that we gotta make sure the spikes are damaging as well and if they are damaging then they're colliders as well 
as perfect. And we're going to have to check that in the collision update as well. But for now that works. This is fine for now. We're just one step at a time. And then as we select, I this is for adding. So I'm going to go into controls, update controls. Go into select background, select enemy spawner. Okay, so this switches in between those. Um, let me do select regular tile drawing. So it's just going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to set it to T. Then we're going to make one more. Uh, and it's going to be Uh, toggle tile collider so I'll say T but I'll add one more thing I'll add a shift here and all this will be better when we fix buttons so left shift but I'm gonna do that on my own time so I don't waste a bunch of your time and then I'll show you the code and explain everything uh, but for now we'll just do this so this is gonna make sure that this if this uh, tile collider good lord have mercy tile collider then this tile collider equals false else this tile collider equals true we'll do the same thing so it's just gonna toggle that now I want to print that out somehow so I know what it what it's doing um, where do I draw let me see where initializes in it okay maybe I can make that visual somehow Toggle Tile Collider. Okay, let me try to make this visual somehow. Uh, this selector dot set fill color color green, right? That's what it's gonna do. And then it's going to set it to red if it's a collider. So red. Now that should be good. Now all I want to do is just set that to a green. This selector. Where do I initialize? In it, in it buttons, in it UI, selector, set fill color, set outline color green. Okay, so it's outline color I have to do. Uh, where is it again? Update controls, and then I went down here. Toggle, toggle, tile collider. All right, set outline color. That's what I want to do. There we go. All right, so let's try this out. And if it's all right, it's green. So Control Shift T. left this is control left shift it should be doing that control shift t hmm let me see t left control left shift so if this tile collider Alright, it's going to set it to red, so I don't see the issue here. I don't see the issue. It's kind of weird. Left control and left shift. And key time. So is it the same as everything else that has left shift as well? Yep, it's the same thing. Okay, it's kind of strange. Uh, so where is my text update text? 
selector text tile background plus collider can you do that nope uh, string background plus uh, two std god damn it std two string this tile collider so this is the way I'm gonna fix my issue plus std let me see just copy this into regular tile and then say tile background tile and then we'll have a little oh I wanted a little space there but whatever alright let's see alright it's just switching those it's not switching what I want it to switch but uh, collider uh, plus there we go oh wait this isn't gonna work uh, whatever we'll just leave it like that now I wanna see that it switches though I don't get why it doesn't switch I think that is because it does this first and then it's gonna check this uh, how about left shift plus T that's a whole different thing there we go now it works uh, control T shift T cool alright so let's load lil and I'm just gonna try something I'm gonna remove, I'm just gonna select that. I'm gonna remove all of these. Wait, that's kind of unnecessary, isn't it? Uh, remove all of these. And do that. So those are colliders. Uh, so what are these? So what are those? okay that's good let me just do the same here just switch these out BAM and then do that it's funny how these aren't actually showing as colliders right now but they are I'm gonna do a little thing where I uh, can print them out and that's gonna help us out a little bit let's just do this recreate these all of these and then boom boom then we're gonna make a few of these as well there we go and then save that right there boom that's good so just some of these are colliders now uh, just quit that program go ahead here and then wherever we draw tiles so we draw a map stage draw and it looks for editor so that's good draws the background so it does that tiles here is what I wanna get at uh, let's see if oh god this stupid there we go if editor cool this is gonna be just at the end of the video if editor then I'm gonna do something that's strange which 
like that. I want to do, I want to make sure we can mark everything that is a collider. Maybe we should just do that in here. Draw if edit editor, then we're going to draw something over there. Let's see. This tiles at position I at position K dot set color. Oh, wait. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, hmm. Let's do this. Tangle shape. Shape. Shape dot set size uh, vector two F wingman grid size wingman grid size shape dot set position uh, this tiles at position I and K get get position shape dot set fill color color transparent set outline thickness to two and shape dot set outline color to red so I'm gonna kind of make a little shape and I'm gonna draw it out wherever this thing is target dot draw shape there we go we're still in map maker I think we'll be able to uh, load lil and then we'll see what is a uh, yeah that's cool all right cool so whatever anything that is a collider should be drawn out so and 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 is collider boom let's see Lil. All right, so now it's drawing out everything that is a collider and nothing else. Perfect. That's nice. That looks good. Cool. I didn't know I made these into colliders, but I guess I did. So it's collider. Let's just do these as well. Let's see if they change. They do. They do. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, I did. I did change them in the file manually. That's why it worked. So that's good. Let's do that. Just because it's fun. I'm just gonna set these as well to colliders, so I don't pass through these. Just like that. Boom. All right. Sure, that is collider as well. All right. Nice. So we'll just stop at that and try the collision. Save that. Close. Main. Falls. There we go. All right. Just about the twenty-minute mark. Always, always over fifteen. Every time. I'll just, I'll just set it to twenty. All right. So now that's working. At least that's working, kind of. It's not the collision I do want, but I mean, it's recognizing it. And it's just, yeah, it's recognizing it. That's good. Any way I'm going, it's recognizing it. Problem is I am not switching. I'm not doing this. The final thing before I close this whole uh, video. Update. Player collision update. Uh, this player 
Dot.i. Dot set. Reset velocity. Let's see. So now at least it's somewhat working. It's not really working like I wanted to. But, and I'm kind of going through that stuff. That's because I'm moving so much. And when I reset velocity, uh, it kind of screws up, I guess. But that's okay. All right, that's good. So I, I think I want to move it first and then reset the velocity or the normal might be weird. So I'm just going to paste that there. Try it one more time. And then at the 21 minute mark, we're going to end pretty much 21 minute. All right, so that's better. That's good. Nope, it's not that good because he keeps moving. That's why keeps moving and the player keeps moving to the right no matter what and somehow that kind of lets the player pass but we'll fix all that stuff later we'll we'll do whatever the hell we're doing and I know why the issue is uh, but still yeah all right but thanks for watching <laughs> sorry for babbling and rambling because I'm so tired but at least we got that working a little bit somehow. And uh, keep learning, take care, and I guess I'll see you in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.